adventurers, tonight we are going to check out one of my favorite Korean barbecue restaurants in the city center of Daegu. It's a nice warm evening, perfect to walk down for a great meal. Korean barbecue is famous worldwide, and in Korea you find barbecue restaurants on nearly every street. They come in all styles and varieties, and no one Korean barbecue restaurant is exactly the same. So if you love Korean barbecue, this is the place for you. The restaurant we are visiting tonight is named What? Yes, What? Here's what you'll see as you walk up to the restaurant down the quiet, narrow alley. What is located in the center of a city block? I'll give you instructions on how to get there at the end of this video. Just keep an eye out for what you see here and you'll have no problem finding it. Once everyone's assembled and you want to go in, enter the glass door here. A server will greet you and point you to a table where you can sit. All right, let's go inside and check it out. First, let's take a look at what you get at what? They specialize in pork, especially pork belly, and have seasoned pork options, which is kind of unique to this restaurant. There's also thin beef belly, shrimp, and many other items on the menu, so let's check it out. The menu is not complicated at all. It's in both Hangul and English, with prices clearly marked. The first two pages are gonna be your meat sets and a la carte meats. Tonight, I'll show you a good variety so we're going to order the what special set for 58,001. This is about $45 and serves enough meat for about four people. If you aren't full after your set, you can always order something a la carte. They have meat from both Austria and Korea. This variety of sets are many. You don't have to go with a set. You can always go with your own a la carte if you want. If there's one particular kind you want and only that kind, just order that kind. The back page is extra side dishes and drinks. Before you order any extra sides, please remember we are in Korea and you'll get complimentary dishes with your meal, so check those out before you order too much. The drink menu has your typical drinks such as mekju, which is beer, soju, cola, but they also have something special, homemade lemon soju. We're definitely going to try that out. Once you're ready to order, do as is common in most Korean restaurants and push the call button. The servers will acknowledge and come to your table. You also use this button if you need them during your meal. Here's our setup here at What. It's a gas burner with a sloped grilling tray. Some other Korean restaurants, you'll have charcoal or another variety of gas grilling. This is what they have at What. Um, if you need anything during your meal, call your server using the call button and they'll come over. All right, we successfully ordered and the server is dropping off our sides. And of course, the center of attention, the meat platter. Check this out. Everything looks great. Here's our meat platter for tonight. It's the What Special with a variety of meats. Let's take a closer look at what you get at the base sides when you order something at What. The first item is the unique bowl of dipping sauce. It's kind of in a little mortar and pestle, so just mix it together when you, when you get it. And you're gonna dip your meat in this when your meat's ready. It's really good sauce. The next one is their seasoned noodles. The seasoned noodles are a little sweet, a little spicy, and very delicious. You're gonna get some seasoned bean sprouts. The server's gonna put them on the grill for them to cook. They're great cooked. A green salad with a very tasty dressing. Kimchi, of course. This will also be placed on the grill with the bean sprouts. What has their own version of tukbaki? It's a simply rice cakes and a spicy sauce. It's a popular Korean uh, street food. Here are some additional flavor options. Some Samjam, garlic, wasabi, and a pickled radish. All right, the server is getting the first round of meat going. If you want to protect your clothes, they have aprons as well as large garment bags with storage bins under your seat. Just ask your server. While the meat cooks, let's try out some of this homemade lemon soju. So for about 5,000 won or $4, you get your own pitcher and you drink it out of small soju glasses. I've tried to recreate this at home, but I just can't get it to match. It's really, really good. It's so cool and fresh. It's lemony, but not a powerful soju taste. It's just really good. All right, now let's take a look at some of this amazing meat sizzling up. Oh yeah. Food porn in live action. Let's 
give it a try. I'm gonna give it a dip in the sauce. If you run out of any of these sides, you can always ask your server for more, but just don't waste it. So you can eat it any way you like, but I'm a fan of dipping the meat in the sauce and then wrapping it in a lettuce leaf with some other sides. Check this out. Okay, let's check out round two. This time we're gonna have the pepper pork belly, some neck and plain pork belly with some of the larger mushrooms. So what accepts cash, credit card, and also at the end of your meal, they have a slushy machine for you to take a cold refreshment as you leave. All right, we're gonna finish up our meal. Now that you're hungry and you wanna visit What Barbecue for yourself, let me explain how you get there. For this one, I used Google Maps and simply typed in what. I'll put the address in the description below, but here's what it looks like from your smartphone. Now let me give you directions on how to find what. Remember I said it was in the middle of a city block. So I don't recommend driving, I recommend taking public transportation. If you come from Kyungpook National University Hospital stop on the number two green line, you just walk west a couple blocks and then take the right into the city center area until you get to this small alley where what is. Definitely either have your smartphone with the map up or print off the map here so you can see where it is because once you're downtown, it's a maze and there's not, it's kind of hard to navigate without the map. But uh, once you're here, you just go in and it's about the center of the city block. It will be on your right if you're coming the way I'm showing you here. Uh, the other option, of course, is the Banwaldong Metro Station. That serves both the green number two line and the red number one line. Uh, if you get off here, you just come out and you'll walk to the east and go the few blocks down and then turn left in up the Dongseng row and then take the left into the small alley. Downtown here is pretty compact and everything is really close so any of these walks are only 5 to 10 minutes, not far at all. You can also go to the Spark Building, that's the one with the big Ferris wheel, and walk down until you get to the alley that way too. All right, if you have a joy of travel, please subscribe to this channel for more adventures from around the world. Hit the bell icon for notifications of new adventures. And if you like the content I showed here, please give us a thumbs up. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next adventure.